Mr. Scowling Man, do you want to learn some math today? Not really. You're just being a grumpy skelly man. <laughs> hello, hello, and welcome to Brainplay TV. I'm your host, JC. Are you ready to have some fun and learn something too? Me too. Don't go away, cause it's time to play. Hi, it's JC here with Brainplay TV. Welcome back. Today we're gonna have some fun with numbers and math, and we're gonna learn how to use a scale. Do you know what a scale is? We're gonna have some fun and learn what a scale is. Now today, since it's close to Halloween right now when I'm filming this video, we're gonna do a little bit of a Halloween theme episode for you. So I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe to our channel for more Brainplay TV videos, okay? It's time to play. Okay, let's get started with scales. Now, if you've never seen a scale before, this is what a scale looks like, and I'm going to show you the numbers on the scale so that you see what we're gonna do with these scales and how they can be really useful for us, okay? Notice I have all these shapes on here. I have stars and suns and moons and diamonds and even smiley faces. Cool, huh? Yeah, man, that's cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a scale. Now, a scale is a line with a bunch of little increments, a bunch of little tick marks. See all these marks along here? And each mark means that it's a number. Look over here, see how that says zero? That's a zero. And this is an eight at this end. So between the zero and the eight, let's count up. Let's count one, two, three, four. See, there's a four. Five, six, seven, eight. So we counted from zero to eight on a scale. And sometimes you don't have the numbers, just like this one. You don't have anything but the zero and the four and the eight. So you kind of have to figure it out. You know if this is zero and this is four, and there are three little tick marks, that means one, two, three, before you get to the four. So it's zero, one, two, three, four. Now, if somebody gave you this scale and they said, what number is the star? And this is something you're gonna see on tests in school sometimes, but this could be really useful. So if you have to figure out what number the star is, look, let's count the little tick marks. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Our star is number five, isn't it? Six, seven, eight. So that's how you figure out what number something is on a scale. You look at how many tick marks there are and you figure out how much it takes to get from the bottom to the top, from the left to the right, okay? Let's do another one. Let's figure out what the star is and then let's figure out what the smiley face is. Ooh, a smiley face. All right, so let's start at zero and we see this goes to eight. So this is the same kind of scale as above, right? So that means this one right under it is gonna be four, isn't it? So all the tick marks are gonna be the same. Let's count up. One, two, three, four. So we know the star is three. Yay, the star is three. Okay, now let's figure out what the smiley face is. Do you know what it is? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could you tell which one the smiley face was? Yeah, you're right. It was number six. Yay, the smiley face was number six. Okay, this one's tricky. This one has three symbols. There's a sun, a moon, and a diamond. Oh, my lucky charms, look at those symbols. Okay, so we have zero through eight, just like before. So this scale is the same. We know that this tick down here is number four. We know that this tick right here is number six because we just found that one out since these are the same, right? So let's count up from zero, one. Oh, the star is number one. I think you're number one. Hmm. Okay, the star is number one. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, the moon was five, wasn't it? Let's mark it as five. 
six, seven, eight. See, now we know the diamond is seven. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Seven is the diamond. Diamond is the seven. Okay. Let's do another one. Is our scale the same? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sometimes scales can be different. That's not number eight, is it? That's number 16. Oh my goodness. So this scale is very different. Let's figure out what all the tick marks mean. It looks like every other tick mark is marked for us. Zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. What does that mean? Well, see all the little ones in between? Hmm, if these are counting by two, two, four, six, six and two more is eight, eight and two more is 10, 10 and two more are 12, if all the big ones are two, the little ones are ones, aren't they? So this would be one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's this one? Oh, it's nine, isn't it? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. See how that scale is different? All the little marks are the odd numbers. These are called odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Those are all odd numbers. And all the other ones are even numbers. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Those are called even numbers. That's counting by 2. Okay, now that we know that this scale is 16, look at the one below it. Look at the bottom scale. It ends in 16 too, doesn't it? It goes from zero to 16 and all the marks look the same. So we know this is the same kind of scale. Let's figure out what our symbols are, okay? So we know the star is right here. We know this is zero, one, two. But before we write down the two, let's make sure it's right. Three, four. That does match, doesn't it? Zero, one, two, three, four. So we know this is two. That's two right there. Okay. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We know it matches. Nine. Oh, the pentagon. Isn't that the name of a shape with five sides? A pentagon? That's right. Five sides is a pentagon. That's number nine. We had a star, now we have a pentagon. Well, let's get to the smiley face. So this is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the smiley face was 14, wasn't it? Good job, yay! Everybody clap, say yay! Yay, daddy! Yay! Daddy. My little boys are helping me today. Yay, Daddy! Okay, so we learned about that one. Now, how can we use a scale? Now that we know how scales work, how can we use a scale? Well, guess what? We can do addition and subtraction with them. You're going to learn about addition and subtraction in school. So you can add numbers and subtract numbers. You can add and take away. Let's learn how to do that on a scale. Okay. So let's pretend that we have three. I'm gonna draw a square around the three because that's the number we're gonna start with, okay? And we want to add four. We're gonna add three plus four. Okay, don't say the answer. Not yet, let's figure it out on a scale. So we're gonna start with three and we're gonna add four. Well, this scale is an easy way to do it because you can go one, two, three, four, and that's your answer. Three plus one, two, three, four is seven. Three plus four is seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we added one, two, three, four. Three plus four is seven. See how that works? Okay, let's do another addition, okay? Let's start with two. 
this time. Let's start with two. And this time, let's add five. We're going to start with two and add five. So we're going to go up. One, two, three, four, five. Guess what? Two plus five is seven. Two plus five is seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Two plus five is seven. And if we want to write that over to the side, we could do that. Two plus five equals seven. Up here we did three plus four is seven. Three plus four equals seven. Okay, let's do one more like this, okay? Let's, let's do this. Let's do zero, whoa, zero plus six. Oh, zero plus six. You ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Zero plus six is six. How about that? Yeah, yay, zero plus six is six. So we're gonna write that out to the side. Zero plus six equals six. Awesome! Give yourself a high five. All right. <laughs> okay, let's do another one. This time we're gonna change it up. We're gonna do something a little bit differently. We're going to do a subtraction problem instead of an addition. So we're gonna take away some numbers, okay? So let's start with seven. This time we're gonna put the square way over here with the seven, way over here with the seven. Way over here with the seven, okay. And then we're going to subtract, let's subtract four. Let's subtract four, okay? So we're gonna start with a seven and we're gonna take away four. So we're gonna subtract four. That means we're gonna go backwards. Instead of adding going forwards, we're gonna go backwards four. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Seven, take away four. Seven minus four is three. Because we took away one, two, three, four to get there. See? So seven minus four is three. Seven minus four equals three. Awesome! You just did subtraction. Let's use a scale one more time to do another subtraction problem, okay? Let's do one more. Here we go. We're going to start with eight this time. Whoa, big number, eight. And we are going to take away six. We're going to subtract six. Eight minus six. So we can even start that over here. Eight minus six equals, and we don't know what it equals yet. Eight minus six. We're going to use the scale to find out. Okay, so here we go, eight minus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We took away one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. Eight minus six is two. Eight minus six is two. Eight take away six is two. Awesome! You just used a scale. Isn't that cool? That's incredible. Okay, now, let's try another one here. But I got a surprise for you. Instead of doing it with just numbers, we're gonna try it with Halloween things, okay? So we're gonna have a scale right here. I'm gonna draw a simple scale. And then we're gonna draw some tick marks on here. We're gonna start with zero, okay, that's zero. And let's put 10 down here, 10. And then we're gonna go in between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we know this scale goes from zero to 10. Okay, zero to 10. Whoa, there's a skeleton man. <laughs> There's a skeleton man. He's sitting right above this one right here. Which one is he sitting at? Can you tell? Let's see. One, two, three, four, 
five. He's sitting at five. Okay, let's try another one. Oh, we have a witch, a crazy looking witch. Ah! Which one is she sitting at? Can you tell right away? It's one down from 10, isn't it? That means she's sitting at nine. Look at that, sometimes you don't even have to count if you know how many tick marks there are. If you know how many segments or increments, how many increments there are on your scale. And we know that each one of these increments represents one number, because it's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So we know she's at nine. She's at the number nine increment. Okay, let's do one more. Ah! It's a skull. <laughs> okay, so he's sitting right here. Silly skull. Silly skull. He's sitting at which one? Can you tell? He's sitting at one, two. He's sitting at two. So the skull's at two. The skelly man's at five. And the witch is at nine. Whoa! Hmm. Okay. That's awesome. You did a great job with those. Very good. Now let's do something a little bit different. Okay. Let's do a little bit of math here. You ready? Okay. So let's read the directions. This time we're going to work with some number bands. Hmm. You might have worked with number bands before. Maybe in kindergarten or first grade or second grade. Depends on where you live. You might have worked with some of these before. But let's work with number bands. Let's look at the example here. Can you see the example? There are three little turtles here. One, two, three turtles. I'm a slow little turtle. And we're going to see how we can add them up. We have two turtles plus one turtle equals three turtles. Three is broken down into two and one. These are our number bonds, okay? Those are our number bonds, okay? So we have two plus one is three, and we also have three minus two, if we took those away, is one. See, so three minus two is one, 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. See how useful these little number bonds can be? 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. So it's minus if you go this way, and it adds together if you go this way. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. Or 3 minus 2 is 1. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So let's do that for these that we have here, okay? The directions say, break the, break the total into parts, write a number band, and addition and subtraction number sentences to match the story. And you might call it a number bond. Some people call it a number band. And six flowers bloomed on Monday. Some more bloomed on Tuesday. There are now eight flowers. How many flowers bloomed on Tuesday? Well, it says six flowers bloomed on Monday. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look, that's six right there. So let's draw a circle around those six. There we go, six. So six flowers bloomed on Monday. Some more bloomed on Tuesday. Now there are eight flowers. Let's make sure this is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight flowers, that's right. Okay, so we have eight total. And we have two different sets of them, don't we? We know six bloomed on Monday, and we know two bloomed on Tuesday. Six plus two is eight, right? So let's write it in our, in our sentence now, our addition sentence. Six plus two equals eight. Now we can write into, into our subtraction. Remember, if we do addition, we go this way, right? But if we do subtraction, we could go the other way. Okay, so if you do addition, you go this way. 6 plus 2 equals 8. But if you're doing subtraction, you go this way. You could go this way or this way. 8 minus 2 equals 6. Or 8 minus 6 equals 2. See that? So you could choose either one. You could do 8 minus 2 equals 6. 
or eight minus six equals two. We'll do it eight minus six equals two. Now, how many flowers bloomed on Tuesday? Look back at your sentence. Six flowers bloomed on Monday, more bloomed on Tuesday, now there are eight flowers. We know that two had to bloom in addition to the six that bloomed Monday to get a total of eight, right? So the answer is two. Two flowers bloomed on Tuesday. Two bloomed Tuesday, six bloomed Monday, eight bloomed all together. Yay, awesome job, good job with the flowers. Okay, let's do one more of these, okay? Here we have balloons. Below are the balloons that mom bought. She bought four balloons for Bella and the rest of the balloons were for Jim. How many balloons did she buy for Jim? Oh, well, let's find out. Let's start with what we know. Here are all the balloons that mom bought. She bought four of them for Bella. So let's circle four balloons. <laughs> Do you like my funny noise? Okay. How many are left then? If she bought all of these balloons and she bought four for Bella and the rest were for Jim, how many are for Jim? One, two, three, four, five. There are five here for Jim, aren't there? These were for Bella. These were for Jim. Look, it even looks like a J, doesn't it? Bella and Jim. Okay, so let's make a number bond out of this. We know that she bought how many total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine total. Nine total balloons. And then she bought four for Bella. And she bought five for Jim. Four plus five is nine. Or five plus four is nine. Hmm, okay. So let's do this. Let's write our number sentences now. We know this is the total over here. This is nine. We're doing addition. So it goes this way, right? Four plus five equals nine. But this one is a subtraction, so that means go this way. We could say nine minus four equals five, or nine minus five equals four. Let's do the second one just for fun. Nine minus five equals four. How many did mom buy Jim? Mom bought Jim blank balloons. How many did mom buy Jim? Do you remember? One, two, three, four, five. The answer is five. Great job, that's awesome. You did a terrific job of those. Give yourselves a hand, yay! Okay, that's terrific. Okay, we just have three more to go. And then we're done with this one, okay? Here we go. This one says, draw a picture to solve the math story. Oh. Let's, let's read number three. Missy buys some cupcakes and two cookies. Now she has six desserts. How many cupcakes did she buy? Okay, she buys some cupcakes and two cookies. Okay, so let's draw two cookies. There's two cookies. Oh, you want them decorated? I'm sorry, okay. So let's decorate the cookies. Would you like these to be oatmeal raisin cookies or chocolate chip cookies? Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, you can pretend that these little dots are whichever one you like better, okay? There are our cookies. All right. She bought two cookies, but now she has six desserts. Oh, okay, so the rest we know have to be cupcakes, right? She bought some cupcakes and two cookies. Now she has six desserts. Well, we know she has six total desserts, and we know she bought two cookies. What we don't know is the number of cupcakes. These are cookies. Yum. Cookie. C is for cookie. It's good enough for me. And we know these are cupcakes. Okay, we're missing the number of cupcakes. Let's write how many cupcakes it takes, but let's draw it first. We know there have to be how many more? Do you know? 
Well, I'll show you an easy way. If you can't figure out the math in your head, six minus two, then this is how we can do it. We know there are six total desserts and two are cupcakes. So let's keep drawing. Let's draw cupcakes until we get to six total desserts. Okay? So this is gonna be my cupcake. Yum. It's a silly looking cupcake, but it works. It'll be yummy, I promise. All right, so that's one, two, three, four desserts. Whoa, <laughs> that one's crooked. That's okay. It's still yummy. There, I made it straight. One, two, three, four, five desserts. Oh, now we need one more to get to six, don't we? This is going to be a huge cupcake. <laughs> it's going to, I'm going to decorate it up here on top. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six desserts. If we know two are cookies, how many are cupcakes? One, two, three, four. We have four cupcakes. Two plus four is six. Four plus two is six. Six minus two is four. Six minus four is two. See how that works? So you add this way and subtract this way with your number bond. Okay, we know that 4 plus 2 equals 6. And we know that 6, since we're subtracting, we're going to go this way. 6 minus 2 equals 4. See how that works? How many cupcakes did Missy buy? 4 cupcakes. Yum! Thank you, Missy. We're going to eat all your cupcakes. Nom, 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 nom. Do you like cupcakes? I do. Hmm. All right. We have two more problems to go. Here we go. Jim invited nine friends to his party. Three friends arrived late, but the rest came early. How many friends came early? Oh, well, he, he invited nine friends, right? Okay. One, two... Three. Oh, look, those are the three friends that arrived late. But let's keep drawing. We know there are nine friends total, right? So that's three. Three friends arrived late. Three arrived late. Okay, but we have nine total. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. That one has a birthday hat on he came to the party with a birthday hat. Eight and nine. And this one wants a birthday hat too. And one of those little things that makes noise. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine friends came to the party. Three arrived late. How many came early? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so six that came early plus three that came late, equal nine friends total. Nine friends total. Okay, so let's do our addition. Six plus three equals nine. Nine minus, remember, remember we're gonna go this way. Nine minus six is three. How many friends came early? Three friends came late. So six friends came early. Yay! You got to the party on time. You got to eat all of Missy's cupcakes from the from the problem up here. Because you got early to the party. You came early to the party. Okay, last one. You ready? Here's the last one. Mom paints her fingernails on both hands. First. First, she paints two red. Then she paints the rest pink. How many fingernails are pink? Mom paints her fingernails on both hands. First she paints two red. Two red. I'll put an R in those for red. And then she paints the rest pink. Well, how many fingers do you have? Hmm, not everybody has all their fingers, and that's okay. But most people have ten fingers. They usually have one, two, three, four, five fingers on one hand and one, two, three, four, five fingers 
on the other hand, right? Okay, so she painted two of them red. How many were pink? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight pink and two red. Okay, and we know that people have usually 10 fingers total. Eight were pink, two were red. Okay, so let's do our math. Eight plus two equals 10. And 10, which way do you want to do it? 10 minus eight is two, or 10 minus two is eight. Oh, you want to do it this way? 10 minus eight equals two. All right, mom painted how many fingernails pink? Eight pink, since two were red. Eight pink, and look, you can do it on your hands. One, two are pink. How many are red? Put those away and pull out all the other ones and count them, see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pink fingernails. Yay, we did it! You did all the math! Woohoo! Give yourself a hand, yay! You did it, that was terrific! Yay, I'm proud of you, that was awesome! You did a really good job. We learned scales, we learned how to do some addition, how to do some subtraction, we learned how to use a scale, and we learned about the increments on a scale. You did an incredible job. You definitely need to give yourself a hand. Yay, or a high five. Woot woot, awesome job. Thanks for joining me, JC, here on Brainplay TV. I hope you had fun and you learned something too. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Brainplay TV. See you next time. Bye. Bye.